wonderful time of year. We couldn't agree more. And we're happy you're tuned in with us. Enjoy the holiday season on My96. Holiday parties everywhere over the next little while. If you haven't been invited to one yet, chances are you may be. Hey, there's actually going to be a very interesting one coming up uh, on Saturday night at Medelta. And I want to get uh, uh, Jean and Kenya from the local Filipino society on the show here. Good morning, ladies. How are you? Great. We're doing great, Kim. Thanks so much for having us. Uh, Jean, tell me a little bit about the uh, local Filipino community. How many residents are we talking about, uh, I guess, estimated uh, are there in our city from the Philippines? Well, we think there are about uh, 600 plus um, members or residents uh, in the Medicine Hatton area, and uh, those are the only the ones that um, uh, appear to be active in the community. So there could be more. Um, I uh, don't have the specific yeah. numbers, but it's it's a pretty large group. Yeah, and, and tell me this, uh, both you and Kenya, perhaps. What does Christmas mean, and what kind of holiday is it in your home country, in the Philippines? Is it as big a deal here as it is there? I'll let Kenya answer that one. Kenya, what's, oh, what's a Filipino Christmas like? Oh, uh, we love our Christmas. Um, in fact, we started counting our Christmas um, countdown starting September 1st. <laughs> That's how we are excited and um, it's the biggest um, holiday that we anticipate every year. Um, we have uh, Misa de Gallo, which is um, Mass in the Dawn, that starts in, this, in uh, December 16. And the holiday um, goes uh, to from December 16 up to January uh, 1st. Wow, that, that's my kind of celebration there. I love that. Hey, no, <laughs> is there a Santa Claus in the Philippines? Uh, because of the American influence in our uh, in our society or in our culture, we do have um, Santa Claus, but mainly because eighty percent of Filipinos are Roman Catholics. Our Christmas revolves in um, the religion and the uh, Jesus Christ self. Yeah. It's a bit more traditional. I love that. That's great. Okay, so this Saturday, it's a huge Filipino Christmas party. Uh, everyone in the Filipino community is invited. But, uh, Jean, can anybody buy a ticket? Absolutely. You know what? Um, I moved out to, the, to Medicine Hats about 15 years ago, and we initially started with um, a small group of Filipinos um, getting together for uh, a Christmas celebration. And it grew from there. Uh, to a point where we had to have it at uh, bigger venues. And then um, subsequently it grew from there as well, um, where in the last three years, this is our, actually our third year at Medelta Potteries, uh, it's grown so much um, that uh, this year we decided to open it up to the general public. Um, the previous years, it's been uh, the Filipino community and their family and their friends. Yeah. However, we just love our culture, and we just want to show it off and share it to the rest of Medicine Hat. So it is definitely open to uh, to the city of Medicine Hat and, and all the, uh, the residents. All right. Our local Filipino society holiday Christmas party happening on Saturday at Medelta. Kenya, tell me about tickets then. If anybody wants to buy some tickets, how much are they? Where are they available at? Yes, um, for the members, um, adults will be $15, youth will be $15, um, child would be $10, and um, under six years old child would be free. And we are also open for non-members. Um, they would only pay $25. Um, they would expect um, fun, a lot of merrymaking. They would expect uh, foreign food, um, foreign music and dances. Something that would awaken their senses because of all these new things around them during the Christmas party. All right. Sounds like that is going to be a great time. Uh, and you know what? I've got my, like, we, we got our Mind 86 party that night, but forget that. I'm going to your party. Is that okay? Can I go to your party? It sounds like more fun. We so look forward to having yes. you there, Kim, you I, and your family. I, I am looking forward to it, too. Now, it also says here that there's a Little Mr. and Little Mrs. Filipino pageant. What is that? Yes, um, it's the very, very first pre prestigious pageantry for children here in Medicine Hat. <laughs> um, in uh, it is um, going to be under Filipino-Canadian Association. It's the very first, even in southern Alberta, 
We call it Little Miss and Mr. 2016. Um, the head organizer with the, for that is Jackie Olson, who is the co-owner of ROCC Lending Services. Wow. It sounds like so much fun. I can't wait for it. This is going to be the party of the year in our city. I can feel it. I can, I can tell right now. Once again, Jean and Kenya from our local Filipino society. Have a great time. Uh, looking forward to seeing you all this Saturday. Now, I've, I've been working on something here, and tell me if I have this right. Malagayong Pasco. Yes. Did I get that right? Wow, you did You did well, really. Um, it, it means Merry Christmas. Yeah, there you go. Thank you. Malagayang Pasco. Ladies, thank you so much. Have a great time, and uh, we'll see you on Saturday night. See you Saturday, see you Kim. Saturday. Thank you. Thanks. Don't get me wrong. I love this holiday, but do you know why? It must be because of the colorful lights, jolly Christmas carols, and all those holiday treats, right? Yes! It's a Christmas miracle! Yeah! Woo-hoo! Happy holidays from your at-work station, My 96.